I, T.A., for not checking in on my ex and he nearly died? I, 35F, recently separated from my fiancé, 35M, due to his excessive drinking, but we are still close and regularly see each other. After taking him to the ER overnight, I brought him home, and he said he just wanted to chill solo, so I left. I attempted to message him, but didn't hear back. This is unusual for him. However, I wanted to respect his boundaries. Late that night, 10 p.m., my ex's mom woke me up calling to ask me to go over there and check on him. I had a key and she doesn't. I declined to because I had just been woken up and figured that he was just ignoring both of us because he was drinking. And to be frank, I'm sick of the drinking and having to care for him. I'm sick of begging him to do things like get out of a urine-soaked bed so I can try to get him clean and dry. I'm sick of the relentless drunk screaming and crying. I'm burnt out. She ended up calling for a welfare check, and when the police came, he was drunk and severely ill. The doctor said he probably would have died if he hadn't been brought in that night. It was to the point that the hospital refused to release him when he tried to leave AMA and got the police and county attorney involved to force him to stay. His mom was pissed at me and refused to tell me, so I only found out a couple of days later that he is in the ICU on a ventilator. I feel incredibly guilty that had it been in my hands alone, someone I care about would be dead, so I came here to either relieve my guilt or be deservedly raked over the coals.